This video is to show you how to um, access the groups and to work on the group projects. So first off, if you have not done so already, on from the home screen, you're going to click on Pick People. And then once you've gone into People, you can then go into Group Projects. And then you can click on exactly which group you want to be in. So once you've done that, you will be able to access your group using the group uh, button over here in the uh, Canvas toolbar. I don't have access to that, but I can actually get into the group another way. So I'm going to get in there. So once you go into your groups, this is what you will see. You will look at how this is your home part. You can put announcements in here. You can put pages in here, though I don't suggest that. You can see who else is in your group using people. Right now, I'm the only one there. Um, you can do discussions. You can set up a discussion if you need to, to where you can discuss what you're doing. The other two, the files, you can post a file in here. I don't really suggest that very much. Really, what you're going to do is go into collaboration. When you click on collaborations, you will see the current collaboration, which is the group work over domain and range. If you click on this, this is actually a Google Doc. If you click on it, it will open up this Google Doc for you. And in this Google Doc, you can now answer the questions. Now, this is not where each person does one part of the problem. This is where you all work together to solve these problems and come up with a common answer. So everybody should be posting what they think the answer is to the domain and then talking about what will be happening. I will be able to see who posts where. And so I do expect to see everybody posting everything here. Most of this is where you're going to be discussing it. So you can put your answers here and then have a group discussion here of answering these kind of questions. There are, in this first one, there's a bunch of different, there's three different questions you need to do. Um, so you're going to answer these. And again, there'll be a group discussion, but everybody should try to answer each one of these questions. Um, for plotting this, you can actually take a picture of your calculator or use Desmos and download the picture. And then you can insert the picture by just going over here to insert and insert your image and then upload it. Um, if you would like to type uh, mathematics, you can do that by clicking where you would like to type it and then come over here to edit and then say, I'm sorry, in insert, sorry, go to insert and come down to um, equation. And then once you go into equation, a new toolbar will open up, which lets you do Greek letters, lets you do uh, different operations, lets you do uh, these kind of symbols, uh, fractions, square roots, integrals, which we will be learning about in this course, uh, errors, and so forth. Once you've done that in here, you can type what you need to. Once you click out of it, that toolbar is no longer available, but you can come back and go into that one um, and then have access to it. A lot of people don't really like using this, and that is fine if you want to. If you want to put in some mathematics, it's probably easier to just take a picture, uh, write it down on a piece of paper, take a picture of it, and upload it into here. Again, everybody should be working on each one of the problems. I should be able to see everyone working on this. So this is how you do the group works. Um, once you're done with it, once you come up with an answer, you will then download it. I come over here to file, download, download either as a Word or a PDF. And then one person in the group can then upload that into the assignment. And that's how group works work. And that's it.